Looking ahead, get ready for the ultimate Viking experience this summer. Yeah, the Viking Beer Fest is returning to Southwest Portland, and this time with even more Nordic offerings. After last year's inaugural festival sold out, it was a hit. Coharlan visited Nordic Northwest to show us how they are expanding this year's celebration. All right, there's no better way to get ready for a Viking beer festival than to be in the presence of uh, three other Vikings here in a medieval basement, darkly lit tavern here. We are at Weird Leatherworks and Meadery in Southeast Portland getting ready uh, for the Viking Beer Festival at uh, the Nordic Northwest, the organization that hosts the Viking Beer Festival this coming summer. Sean is to my left here, one of our Vikings here. First of all, uh, the, uh, the Viking Beer Fest is back this coming summer. Tickets have just gone on sale. That's kind of why we're doing this this morning. But it's going to be bigger and better than it's been, right? Go ahead. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so now a two-day event, because last year we sold out. It was our first year. So in our second year, we're expanding both in size number of days and the number of Vikings. We're doubling the number of Vikings, adding more music, more entertainment, and it's just gonna blow everyone away with- A little village you build actually on the grounds there, yes, all right? Exactly, yeah. The Timberhaven Vikings will be there with a the village. They'll be doing craft and living history demonstrations as well as live combat. Uh, within this structured village that they're doing. That'll be cool. Tickets on sale. More, more on that as we get closer to the event. But this basement here, this is weird uh, leatherworks and metery. Uh, and uh, my friend Travis across from me over here uh, mm -hmm. is the principal here. A little bit about mead because mead is a kind of a Viking thing, isn't it? Yeah, so for our brand of mead, we use honey, water, yeast. Um, we use a, Nor uh, a Nordic ale yeast for mm -hmm. all of our products. Mm -hmm. um, mead is very heavily, you know, the story of mead comes a lot from Norse myth, mm -hmm. um, the Eddas, but... It tastes a little bit like wine, a little bit like yeah. beer, a little bit like wine, a little bit about, a if little you, bit like a lot of things, I guess. Yeah, it's like a honey wine, uh -huh. in uh -huh. a way. Um, it's technically classified as a wine. Uh -huh. And that's what <laughs> um, they would have drank in the Middle Ages. Right? But, yeah, so mm -hmm. mead, honey, water, yeast, it's fermented. Mm -hmm. um, if you're a fan of wine, like mm. this would definitely be up your alley. It can be anywhere from dry to super sweet or anywhere in between. It's just kind of up to the mead makers to kind of create their craft and decide what flavor profiles they want to kind of incorporate in their in their beverage. So it'll be at the Viking Beer Fest this weekend. That mead will be front and center. And again, he's got a lot of different flavors. I saw cinnamon back there. I see, uh, if I can read this, honey pomegranate right here, honey, uh, all sorts of kind of a wineish kind of a cool thing. Now. I got I to gotta tell you something. Come, up, come around behind me, Carl, because I want you to meet Jeff here, who's one of the brewers who will be brewing the beer. And I promise you, you if you are not uh, part of the acting community, you should because you look like you're right out of central casting for a Game of Thrones uh, Viking here. Hold the axe. You scare me when you hold it because you look like you're familiar with using it. <laughs> but uh, you're going to be, what, brew, what uh, uh, brewery you, are you with and, and, and how are you going to fit in this summer? <clears throat> yeah, so uh, we're from Ridgewalker Brewing. And with that, last year was our first year brewing a, a lineup of Nordic Ales. Mm -hmm. And so with this, um, we want to definitely hit it off a little bit better this year with it being a two-day two, two day event. Nordic Ales differ from regular ales in, in what yes. regard? So with that, we use a Scandinavian yeast, a Quebec yeast. And with that, that's the yeast strain that we like to use. And you can only brew so many different styles with that yeast. Um, but we plan to do a Nordic Red Ale, a Nordic Golden Ale, and a couple others that we're excited to announce. So they're not heavy necessarily. They're red and they're golden ales, just like kind of the, the, the same texture and tone of regular sure. beer. Not all heavy and, and dark beers. Dep depending on style. I mean, you're going to get malty, you're going to get sweet. And the fun thing with also having Weird uh, Leatherworks and Meadery uh, be a part of this event this year is that we are gonna be offering a Braggot, which a Braggot is a crossbreed between mead and beer. So basically we combine the two, think of it as a honey ale. Mm -hmm. And so hopefully the goal this year, depending on what we can pull off, is to have two different offerings of a Braggot ale. Sounds like a lot of food, sounds like a lot of mead, sounds like a lot of beer, sounds like a lot of mead and beer mixed, yeah. and it's happening this summer. Tickets are on sale right now for this event because uh, uh, as Sean uh, told us earlier, they did sell out last year. It's going to be a bigger, longer event this year. Go to Nordic Northwest's website for more tickets, which uh, is... Vikingbeerfest.com is the best spot for it. Vikingbeerfest.com. Yeah. Get yourself set up for some, uh, some summertime. This is in August, so you got a few months, but get yourself ready for some summertime mead, some summertime ale. Hold your glasses up there, fellas, in celebration of the Viking Beer Fest. 
being put on by uh, Nordic Northwest. Slam it on the table and get her done. Get yourself some tickets. It's going to be a fun event. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Cor. I love that. It does look like a lot of fun. I like that. I, oh, like the big old, like the, the big classic. Mug, the clank yes. and slam yeah, on so the table. Yeah, with your ale, 